Today's March 28th. It's a milestone for the project. We're at the Algonquin Power Facility in Windsor Locks, Connecticut. And ironically, in 1989, Chimbro was one of the original contractors building the facility. We've been awarded the project to install a 15 megawatt IST boiler and a solar turbine generator. And so on March 28th, some of Chinbro's top team members prepared for a three-day steam outage and a one-day power outage at the Algonquin Power Facility. The ultimate goal? To clear the way for the arrival and assembly of a massive cogeneration unit that burns natural gas, generates electricity, and uses the exhaust to power a boiler to generate steam. Both the steam and the electricity will eventually feed an adjacent paper mill. Chinbro's installation of the equipment will allow allow Algonquin to increase the plant's overall power output and do so in a cost-efficient way. Well, this job's going to be real busy over the next few days. You know, we're right now in a uh, three-day plant shutdown. We've got 24 hours to cut the power, make some terminations, and return power service on, and a total of three days to replace pipes and bring the steam plant back in service. There's an existing pipe and electric utility bridge that crosses the drive and we can't get the crane needed to erect the boiler and the stack through the existing pipe bridge. So we're relocating the mechanical and electrical services to gain an extra of five feet of headroom. The next couple days we have the first boiler components arriving. They've been shipped in by rail. We have a heavy hauler contracted for the manufacturer who's bringing those here to the job site. What we have to do is move the crane through the new bridge, assemble the crane, and get ready to hoist the boiler components off the delivery trucks and onto the faults work that we're using to install them. Ordinarily, when installing a boiler assembly of the magnitude of the Algonquin unit, the building is not finished yet and the structure is built around the boiler or the boiler is assembled piece by piece inside the building. But there's a problem in this instance. The space needed to assemble the boiler is very limited, with a river on one side and a canal on the other. So Chinbro engineers developed an innovative solution. Assemble the giant boiler outside the plant and then roll it into the building on a track system. It's a job that Chinbro is able to self-perform almost exclusively. That's right, it's a job that fits our core competencies very well. Uh, we had to come in and do the demo in the facility that we're in right now. In fact, the very spot that we're standing, uh, the length of practically half the building, uh, with new foundations that we're standing on. Uh, these were placed as recently as last week. And uh, our temporary design group did an outstanding job. We have very limited space outside very small footprint for a very large crane. We have a DMAG 500 that's going to do the heavy lifts for us. And on the outside to receive the boiler and the turbine generator we built the crane pad uh, right along the bank of the river between the river and the uh, existing powerhouse. We had to drive pile for each outrigger of the large crane that's coming, the DMAG 500 which is a 600 ton crane. Each outrigger got four HP 14 by 73 piles driven down to rock, then a 10 yard concrete cap placed at each location. Once we got those built, we then moved on to building the track system, which was another six pile driven down to rock, and then I would say about 20,000 pounds of bracing and framing and beams. The modules of the boiler are all gonna come into the 600 ton crane, get picked, set on the track system, and then eventually, once it's all built, we'll roll it inside the building onto the new foundations. That's right, the boiler's coming in four uh, major modules. We hoist and assemble those one on top of the other in sequence. Once they're assembled outside, which includes welding together, the entire assembly rolls in on a track assembly, which we're currently building, and gets jacked into its final position. April 9, 2012, within a matter of two weeks, the Chinbro team has assembled the boiler adjacent to the plant, and the time has come to roll the tremendous load into the building. Four modules stacked one on top of the other, the heaviest piece being 75 tons, the lightest piece being about 25 tons. The expectation is that by day's end, Chinbro's team will have impressed the owners and built up another storehouse of credibility in the heavy construction field. Well, we have to jack it up, install the Hillman rollers on, onto the tracks, then jack it down onto the rollers, bolt it to the rollers, pull all the bracing out of the wall of the building, and then we'll use uh, hydraulic winches to, to pull it into place, and then once it's in place, we'll jack it down onto the anchor bolts. 
Well, the whole process involves this being erected on basically steel blocks on top of this rail assembly. What we have to do then is jack up the unit, remove the steel blocks, put in the rollers that it's going to slide on. So that's really what that was all about. We're doing this jacking in one eighth of an inch increments at a time at eight different locations so the unit stays level without stress and flexible. Once it's on the roller, it's somewhat anticlimactic. It's hooked up to the winches, they're pre-reeved with cables and snatch blocks, and it rolls in. Smooth as silk, yeah. Got to pay a little attention to how the cables wind onto the drum and make sure you've got enough clearance when you come through the building wall, but other than that, it's good to go. I mean, everybody here has been really impressed with the Chin Bros uh, work ethic as well as ingenuity. Uh, the fact that we were able to come up with this method of putting the boiler into the building impressed everyone, including the manufacturer. They've commented how they've been on other jobs and haven't seen anything like this take place. I think the plant operations staff has a very high level of respect for Chinbro after seeing us pull off the recent outage as well as roll the equipment in today. This job is being done in, under very tight time constraints. There's an incentive for the owner to get this project up and running by July. So we had some permit issues in the beginning of the project. So, uh, we were held up till the 17th of February before we could actually begin the construction out adjacent to the riverbank. We are on schedule at this time. We're on budget at this time. So when we leave here, uh, plant up and running, back the way that the owner wants it. So it should be a satisfied customer we can use for a reference. Also, uh, we'd be a contractor they'd like to use again. Our credibility is so high with the owner and the manufacturer, it can't help but lead to future opportunities. The owner's uh, primary rep was here on site today with his field rep. They both witnessed the roll in. The plant manager and his staff were right there every minute of the trip. Pretty much wow. They didn't say a lot, but everybody's, and everybody's snapping pictures like crazy. Something to see. In summary, it's been a real good opportunity to uh, showcase our temporary design abilities. Uh, the fact that we've worked with so much different equipment in terms of crane sizes, multiple cranes on location, difficult access, a lot of interior demolition right in the middle of an operating plant, as well as new structural concrete and steel construction right in the thick of it all. Again, it's a real credibility builder.